So I'd never had any kind of counselling or mentoring or coaching before. And given that it was offered very kindly, kind of, you know, free of charge by people with fantastic skills, it, it was, yeah, I was intrigued about it. And I thought, you know, I know people who've done similar things and they found it helpful. So it seemed like a great opportunity to try it. And I know I went into it, not sceptically, but just with that kind of open, well, is this going to be useful for me or not? I think maybe initially I wasn't quite sure what, what use it would be, really. But it felt like it was a useful, uh, a useful offering. And uh, over the time, I think I've come to see it as really, really invaluable. It felt quite, it felt quite challenging to have to talk about myself for an hour and to and to go into to kind of territory that was a little bit difficult or, or upsetting and I know I spent quite a lot of time not doing that and was much happier to try and get you know to chat and to kind of do the usual things that I do and it took a while to to feel comfortable enough and to build the relationship with Joe to yeah to be able to release that a little bit and then I think things really started to work what it does, I think, is it gives a space where you can uh, express and go into and uh, to some extent deal with the, the, uh, the pressure and the insecurity and the, uh, the frustrations that you maybe feel uh, in, the bit of, in, in the bit of transition that you're working in. Um, I mean, there were certainly times for me when actually uh, when actually burnout was a, quite a real risk and I think uh, being able to just go along and have a space to explore where that was coming from and actually yes I know you think this is the challenge but actually what what else is going on um, with somebody who really can understand that and somebody who can read that much much better uh, is very very powerful I think you know, instead of having this kind of huge sack of whatever unprocessed feelings and and thoughts and ideas, um, to be able to to work through those and and let as much of that go as possible. So that's one huge benefit. And then the second one is is learning how I can be more effective in doing the work I do. Dealing with such a difficult project, and it's just so useful to have a mentor to talk over the difficulty of being in this transition space which is just such a hard place to be so much of the time. The benefits for me um, are around having someone objective who can really help me look at things that are going on and um, give some useful insight and that, that, that objectivity of that feels really important because if I'm speaking to friends or family um, about some of the challenges then they don't have that, that objective perspective and that's one of the things that's most useful. I think it, I think it definitely helped in terms of uh, being a lot more confident in terms of dealing with criticism from, from beyond, beyond transition. It gave me some very useful tools actually for kind of sifting petty sort of mudslinging from genuine concerns and so on. I think that's really useful and also having some degree of sort of having more tools for, for kind of just not being totally open all the time to all of that. Um, I think it gave me uh, A real, a real appreciation of the value of just stopping and, uh, you know, like if you've got a week where you've got a certain amount of stuff to get done, actually the sense is, oh well, I can't take an hour an hour out to go and do a mentoring thing because actually I, I've got emails to do in that time, <laughs> you know. But actually, how much more effective the rest of what you do is if you're actually making the space for that. I think one of the things is um, that was really helpful for me was working on boundaries and putting boundaries in place around work and, and how much time and effort and energy I was going to put into my work life as opposed to other things. 
and feeling that other things were suffering and it was just really hard to to know where to put that boundary in place so having somebody <coughs> objective who wasn't part of the organization or kind of caught up in that as well felt really invaluable for that was able to really question um, question balance in my life and, and how I wanted balance to be and why it wasn't there and um, it felt that having someone outside of the the situation could, could, is the only person who could really do that very well. I feel more effective and and there's there's not the, the kind of emotional drag I guess of of carrying around a lot of unprocessed um, feelings and thoughts that kind of sit below the surface and as soon as I have the space with with you know ideally with somebody trained and and skillful at helping me to look just below that that layer that's like that sits just below the surface of awareness to be able to have that time enables me to to then to then get to feelings and thoughts that that I otherwise would have buried and then I'm just carrying them around so it just it just helps me not to carry them around which then helps me to become more effective and better at what I do. I think I do see so many people who would benefit from this kind of project being set up where they are. I think most of the transition places where I go I see a pattern of a few fantastic overcommitted, exhausted individuals holding things together and um, yeah and I can recognize that a little bit and the mindset that goes well if we don't do it nobody else will and this is also important and it all needs doing and um, I see a lot of that still and I always you know tell people about the mentoring that we do here in Totnes that I benefited from and I see how that's not readily available at the moment in other places and I think if there was one thing that could really help transform transition that's one of them.